Support Wrestle Talk. See Wrestle Talk live in London by clicking the link below. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I I'm Luke Owen. Part of being a wrestling fan is watching a show and saying to yourself, I could do better than that. Or maybe you'll look at WWE's booking and say, why are you pushing that guy when you should be pushing this guy? Well, now it's time to step up and make a difference. As WWE are hiring new creative writing assistants who can support the creative writing team in all aspects of the writing process. However, this job page does seem rather confused as it's asking potential prospects to pay close attention to detail, take initiative, coordinate, coordinate with other departments within the company and plan ahead to assure efficient departmental functioning, which I'll be honest, does not sound like WWE. Someone who has just taken a new job within WWE Segway is Punishment Martinez. The former Ring of Honor television champion was rumored to be joining WWE's NXT brand, which was made official last month. This has been a very quick turnaround for Martinez, who had his final match for Ring of Honor on September 29th, dropping the TV title to Jeff Cobb. Punishment made his NXT in-ring debut at a house show in Fort Pierce, Florida, in a losing effort to Nick Miller of the Mighty. Punishment played a babyface on the show, which could be an indication of his direction on the black and yellow brand when he eventually makes it to TV. Someone else who could be heading for a babyface run is The Miz. Yes, I did not misspeak there. The Miz. Cage side seats are reporting that there is some speculation that the finals of the World Cup, where Miz went down injured and was replaced by Shane McMahon, could be the start of a babyface turn for the A-lister. Now, if you're sitting there thinking turning the Miz babyface would be a terrible move since he's such a good heel, could probably be right. Not many people remember the dark times of 2012 when WWE had a failed attempt at pushing the Miz as a plucky babyface endorsed by Ric Flair, who even gave him his patented figure four leg lock to use as a finish. The push remarkably lasted around a year and resulted in various pre-show feuds and losses while trying to capture the Intercontinental Championship. Good move, WWE. Although contradictory to that speculation is a report from WrestleZone, which has revealed some advertised matches for a house show in Tucson, Arizona after the Royal Rumble. Now, as always, these cards are subject to change and should be taken with a pinch of salt. However, these Road to WrestleMania shows usually give a good insight into WWE's future plans, particularly when it comes to the biggest show of the year. So according to WrestleZone, the advertised post-Rumble matches include AJ Styles versus The Miz for the WWE Championship and Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. But those men will have to get along before that as we head towards Survivor Series, which takes place a week from Sunday, if you can believe it. Already announced for the show is Universal Champion Brock Lesnar versus WWE Champion AJ Styles, Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey versus SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch, and United States Champion Shinsuke Nakamura vs Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins. And Baron Corbin revealed on last night's Raw there will also be the traditional 5 on 5 Raw vs Smackdown elimination match for both the male and female rosters. Corbin announced Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman for his team. Finally that Dogs of War reunion! And according to Mike Johnson of PW Insider they will be joined by Bobby Lashley and Kurt Angle. What's interesting about this is that Angle lost his match with Drew McIntyre last night in the main event of Raw which was supposed to be for Kurt's spot on the team. So either plans have changed or Angle will find a way to get himself on the team next week. Johnson also reports that the SmackDown Live team will consist of Daniel Bryan, Samoa Joe, Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton and The Miz. With less than two weeks to go before the show, one would imagine we'll find out how accurate this report is when SmackDown Live airs tonight. I mean, surely the best wrestler in the whole wide world will be on the team, right? And we're now just one week away from WrestleTalk taking over the Prince Charles Cinema in London for a special special wrestle along screening of Beyond the Mat. We want to bring the atmosphere of a wrestling show to the cinema screen. So bring your signs, bring your chants, bring your cosplays and come down to London for a fun night with one of the best wrestling documentaries of all time. Oli, El Fakador and myself will also be doing a live wrestle ramble after the film and we'll be in the bar before the film for a special meet and greet. And let's be honest, we'll probably be in the bar after the film as well. Get your tickets today through the Prince Charles Cinema website or click the image of Rock, Mankind and Terry Funk on screen right now to get your tickets to see WrestleTalk live in London. And click the video to watch Ollie Davis's review of Raw in about four minutes. I've been Luke Owen and that was Wrestling.